Hi, I'm Bob Costanza. I'm going to be teaching into the People and Planet Pathway of the Global Prosperity Master's Program here at UCL. I'm really excited to be here in the UK. Uh, I'm an ecological economist. You might ask what that is and how it's different from ecology or economics. Uh, well, really, it tries to take the whole system into account. Uh, the planet, uh, the, the human humanity, and the rest of nature and recognizing that, uh, that humans are a part of the natural system. Uh, so how do we look at that whole system um, in an integrated way and understand humanity embedded in society, embedded in uh, the rest of nature? Uh, it's complicated, of course, and this requires a, a truly transdisciplinary approach, uh, building on all of the knowledge and, and information that we have uh, and trying to synthesize it and put it together. So I think that's a lot of what this course, uh, or this program will be will be about. How do we understand the whole system and how do we solve uh, the problems? How do we make it a better system? How do we make it one that can achieve uh, truly sustainable well-being uh, for, for everyone and for other species as well? So one of the things that we know contributes enormously uh, to people's prosperity and well-being uh, is the nat is nature is the rest of nature as we think of it, uh, so and so how to understand those contributions? Uh, what we have been calling ecosystem services, uh, I think, is a really important part of what we'll do in this in this course. Ecosystem services are all the things that natural systems do that that contribute uh, to human well-being. Some of them we uh, we sort of understand and realize and and see around us every day: food and water, things like that. But, provisioning services, as they're called. Uh, many of them are, are quite hidden and, and, uh, and hard to see. They're invisible, uh, like the, uh, the climate uh, system that contributes to all of our well-being, like regulating uh, the flow of water through, uh, through watersheds, uh, like cleaning, cleaning our waste, et cetera. So there's a whole range of regulating services that also contribute to our well-being that are, that are not as well perceived uh, by individuals. And we have to do some elaborate modeling and, and study uh, to understand how those contributions, how those things connect. Uh, so another part of the, of the course is, well, how do we model those systems? How do we understand how those connections work and how they contribute uh, to human well-being? Uh, both the well-being that people perceive and also the well-being that they, they may not perceive as well, uh, but as, is equally, if not more important uh, to their sustainable well-being and prosperity. One of the things we're going to be talking about in this module is how do we actually achieve uh, the transformations uh, that, that we need uh, in society to achieve the sustainable well-being future, the prosperity that we're, uh, that we're all aiming for. And one, one way of thinking about the fact that we haven't uh, done more, haven't, haven't moved in this direction more quickly, is that we're, we're kind of addicted to the current system. All of the positive feedbacks in the short term are preventing us from overcoming that, that addiction. Uh, so one of the things that works at the individual level to overcome these addictions is to have a clear goal uh, you know, at the end of your individual life goals. Uh, so how do we achieve that at the societal scale? How do we build that shared vision of the kind of world that we all want? And that I think is one of the first steps in the therapy that's, that it's going to take uh, to change the world to, to that better vision. 